everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allison with Baby Stepping to Freedom. And in this video, I am going to talk about budget glasses. If you're a glasses wearer, you're on a budget and you're tired of paying $200 for a pair of glasses at your eye doctor, this is the video for you. So it is now time for me to get new glasses and I really don't want to spend a ton of money on new glasses. I've heard of some budget online glasses dealers, if that's the name of it, and I wanted to give them a try. My prescription has changed since I got these glasses and I need to get another pair. I probably could just get new lenses, but let's be real, I wanna change it up. I wanna try some new glasses. I'm tired of these bad boys, I'm ready to get some new ones. So the two companies I see people using the most is Warby Parker and Zenni Optical. Those are the two biggest names I feel like. I know there's tons of places out there that you can get glasses online, but Warby Parker and Zenni Optical seem to be the two most commonly used kind of budget-friendly glasses dealers. So my plan is to go through the process of trying and or buying glasses from both Warby Parker and Zenni and figuring out which one I like the best, who has the best options, who has the best prices, who has the best customer service and like process for buying online glasses because let's be real, trying on glasses is like part of the process of getting glasses. Like you kind of have to try on glasses to know if you like them or not. And I think a lot of people, myself included, stray away from online glasses buying because of the factor of not being able to try them on, right? Right. So let's do this. I'm gonna try Warby Parker and Zenni Optical and see who I like the best and maybe I will end this video with at least one pair of new glasses. So my in-home Warby Parker trial has arrived. I started with Warby Parker because in their app, first of all, they have an app. Zenni does not have an app. In Warby Parker's app, they have some sort of technology where you turn on your camera and it puts magic glasses on your face so you can kind of see what the glasses look like. They also have a free at-home trial, so they will send you five pairs of glasses for free that you can try on at home before you place an order. That way you know what they look like and you can decide if you like them before you buy them. Now Warby Parker is more expensive. Their glasses start in the $90 range and that is for the frames and single prescription lenses. So I ordered five pairs to try on at home before I put any prescription into the system. I wanted to see if I liked the frames and I could get a feel for how their product is before I spend $90 on it. I placed the order for my at-home trial frames on a Saturday and they arrived on a Monday. So it was super fast shipping. They had tracking so I knew when it was going to arrive and they've been sending me emails since I got it about the process of ordering. So they keep you super informed and they let you know how it all works. My impression so far of Warby Parker is I really like their app. I really like how the app shows you what the glasses look like and I really like that you can try them on at home. When you get the box, it's super convenient. The box just opens up and it looks all nice. There's a return address label inside, so all you have to do is put the return address label on it and send it back. So that's on top. Also, more directions about how to do all this. And then there are the five pairs of glasses. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five pairs of glasses that I'm going to try on now. There were a lot of glasses on the Warby Parker website that were just way too trendy for me. I picked some that are kind of similar to these glasses, but a little different. These glasses were pretty bold when I got them and I really like them now. They were much bigger than the glasses that I had before, darker, I had rimless glasses before, but darker, bigger glasses are more in style these days. So that's what I went with for the most part with my Warby Parker glasses. So here we go. The first pair of glasses is the Francis in the tortoise color. Francis in the tortoise color. I'm trying them all on since I have them to try on. Hey, there's me with no glasses. Oh, it's weird to have a, um, I don't know. 
I don't like them as much. We'll see. That's the Francis. Not a fan, not a fan. Okay, I probably wouldn't spend $90 on those. Next is the uh, Wilder and also Whiskey Tortoise. My glasses are mainly for distance, but oh, I look like my dad. Pass, hard pass. The next pair is the Hughes and Fig Tortoise. Just got lots of tortoise. I think most of their glasses came in the tortoise. So, hmm, can't really see myself in them, but not a fan either. Too square, is that weird? Because these ones are kind of square, but I don't think I'd spend $90 on those either. Next up is the Wilkie in Chestnut Crystal. A little different. This is like a, almost like a neutral color. I already don't like them. Nope, no go. Man, see, this is my problem with buying glasses online. When I buy glasses in the store, I try on a million pairs and I still am unsure about my decision. So I don't know how this online thing is gonna go. Last one is Hayden in Rye Tortoise. Ugh, really no. I don't like how it goes in like that. Oh, so what this means is I didn't like one pair of the Warby Parker glasses. I would not spend $90 on any of these. And I actually kind of had a hard time finding five pairs because they had so many like clear ones and like super way too hipster for me. So these were the ones that I felt like looked the best in my opinion for me and I don't like any of them. So I don't think I'm going to order any of these. I'm gonna send them back and try out Zinni. All right, so I sent the Warby Parker glasses back. Those were just the trials. I sent them back, didn't like any of them, and I decided now I'm going to try out Zenny. So the downside of Zenny is that you do not get to try them on before you buy them. Warby Parker has their 3D live viewing of the glasses, so you can like move your face around and see how glasses look on your face. Zenny just has a system where you basically put in a picture of yourself and they put the glasses on your face and so you can see what they look like on your face, but it doesn't feel quite as true as the Warby Parker look because it's not like that live video of you looking around. But the benefit of Zenny is that the glasses are significantly cheaper than Warby Parker. Warby Parker glasses start at about $98 uh, per frame. That includes single vision prescription. Um, but Zenny starts at like $6. So, you know, it's kind of worth the risk to me to buy Zenny glasses and not be able to like have the 3D look like I did with Warby Parker. Zenny does have a return policy, but it's like 50% I think if you send them back. So I just decided to not spend very much, get some cheaper glasses and see how it goes and just, you know, take the risk. So I ordered my Zenny glasses about two weeks ago and they finally came. They took a pretty long time. Warby Parker's trial glasses came pretty quickly, but I don't know really how long the actual process of ordering Warby Parker prescription glasses would be. But Zenny took about two weeks to receive. The package is not quite as nice as the Warby Parker package, but you know, whatever. It is what it is. So I'm going to take a look at these and see how I feel about them. I have three pairs from Zenny that I ordered and here they are. So one thing that is a good experience from Zenny is I realized after I ordered my glasses, I had actually ordered four pairs, and I realized after the fact that I accidentally ordered two of the same one. I was looking through the order just trying to remember what I ordered because it seemed like it was taking a while, and I realized that two of them were the exact same pair of glasses. So I called them, they 
had, I was on hold for a little while, but they answered pretty quickly and they gave me a credit. They canceled the order and they put the credit on my account. They didn't refund me the amount, but they did put the credit on my account which is fine with me because I'm probably gonna get some sunglasses or something later. I would much rather have the credit than have two pairs of the same glasses with the same prescription. Like, I don't need that. I don't even need three pairs of glasses, let alone two of the same kind. So anyways, that was a good experience. I was very happy with how Zenny handled that situation. It was no problem for them. So originally I spent $95.49 on the four pairs of glasses. That was actually after a 10% coupon. They just happened to have a coupon that was available when I was buying for 10% off. And so the $95.49 was after 10% off. Then I canceled that pair of glasses and got a credit of $22.41 on my account. So these three pairs of glasses cost me $73.08. That is less than the price of one pair of Warby Parker glasses. So already winning here. Zenny and Warby Parker do not take my vision insurance, but they do take HSAs and FSA accounts. So I have a FSA, flexible spending account through my employer, which is basically just a checking account for all of my health expenses. And so I was able to use my FSA to buy these glasses. So let's get started. I will talk about how much I spent on each pair of glasses, how much the frames were, and any additional thing that I added. So this is the first pair. They all come in this nice little case, which I probably won't do anything with. Well, maybe. Now that I have three pairs of glasses, I might actually put them in cases. I usually don't, but anyways, comes in a little baggy. Let's see here. The first one, by looking at the number, I believe is the most expensive pair. So they have like some like little like how to care for your glasses. Then there's a little um, whatever that's called cleaner thingy wrapped around it. This is the first pair. So these glasses were $38.90 total. The frames themselves were $29.95. And then on two of the pairs of glasses, the ones that I felt like I'd probably wear the most, I got the second most expensive anti-glare. I chose to not get the blue light reducing stuff on it because it makes this purple, I'm sure you've noticed the purple glare in my glasses and I hate it. So I did not get that. It's like blue light reflective something. Anyways, but I did get anti-glare, so there is still glare in them. But anyways, so let's try them on. So these ones were $38.90. Oh, they're kind of big on my head. A little bit glary. I have a window right in front of me. Not purple glary. Mm, I feel like they fit my face well. I like these. I'd wear them. So this was the 895 reflective coating, anti-reflective coating, I should say. I don't see any reflections in it. It's just reflections in the camera, which is kind of annoying. But they they're really big, you can see. I'm wondering if I can take them to my um, glasses place that I have here and have them like bend so they fit my face better. Also, one thing that I am gonna do actually, so I will have them fix this, is I'm gonna have my eye doctor actually check the prescription to make sure that the prescription is right, but just putting them on and looking out, seems like my prescription is right. I can see clearly. So, mm, I like these. This is, a tortoise shell type color in those. So those ones were $38 for everything, prescription and anti-glare and the frames. So that was the first pair, winning already. Already better than Warby Parker in my opinion. Okay, the next pair, ah, this is the pair that I accidentally bought two of. Same thing, all the stuff, lots of nonsense more nonsense. All right, this pair, the they were $24.90 total. A little bit smaller. Ooh, I like these too. $24.90 for these. The frames were $15.95 and then I got the $8.95 anti-reflective stuff. Ooh, mm, I like these too. Winning, Zenny. Seems like my prescription is good. I can see a beautiful cat right there. 
Still pretty like glary though, which is annoying for filming. Let's see how it compares to my like expensive glasses. I mean, this has the annoying purple stuff, but anyways, they fit my face better, but glary. I can't remember if there was an, I think there was an even more expensive anti-glare, but I do like those even with the glare. The last one, all right, this last pair, they were cheap, much cheaper than those ones. And I got them because I was like, YOLO, I wanna try it. They're cheap and let's go for it. So, just thought it'd be fun to, to give these ones a try. Oh, oh. Look at these. All right. These frames, aw. I like these, actually. These are fun. So these frames were all only $6.95. And then I, since I wasn't sure how I'd feel about blue glasses, I got the cheaper $4.95 anti-reflective coating. So I'm curious if you can really tell a difference. And and so I don't know if anti-reflective coating is like um, what other people see or if it's the reflection inside for me, but these ones seem very glary. I think these ones are definitely less glary than these ones, but these fit my face well too. Huh. So these were only $11.90 for these prescription glasses. So for all three of these, I spent $73.08 for three pairs of glasses, which I think is a smoking deal. Well, there we have it. My review of Warby Parker and Zenny in ordering online budget glasses. Don't mind my glare. I might need to wear different glasses for filming because I'm not a fan of the glare, but I am a big fan of Zenny. So I got three pairs of prescription glasses for $73, which is less than the price of one pair of Warby Parker. Also, I feel like Zenny had a much bigger variety of glasses to choose from. Warby Parker just didn't seem like it had that many pairs to choose from. I had a hard time just picking the five that I got to try on for free. So Zenny is definitely the winner in my book, especially if you're in a situation where you get glasses a lot or you don't have very good coverage for glasses or you work somewhere where your glasses get broken often because this pair of prescription glasses was $11.90. This pair that I've worn in all of my other videos that I got from my eye doctor, much less glary, um, but they're Ray-Bans and they were like $200. I was still able to use my um, insurance, which I was not able to use with Zenny, but still, it's like, why pay this when I can pay this, you know? So if you're looking for a cheap way to get prescription glasses, Zenny is the way to go. Zenny Optical is their website. Z-E-N-N-I Optical. Zenny Optical. Highly recommended. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below which pair of glasses were your favorite. The teal. The pinkish or the big ones, that's what I'm gonna call them. Let me know which ones you like the best, how you feel about the glare versus like my more expensive glare. And make sure while you're down there to subscribe to my channel so you see all new videos that are coming out soon. I'll see you guys next time, thanks for watching.